Ladies and gentlemen, hey hi, how you doing? Welcome back to the channel. It seems this week is going to be a whole lot bigger than we thought, as not only do we have Season 5 coming to a close and in turn, Season 6 teasers are popping up left and right, but today we also got a brand new update on the Black Ops Cold War story progression as a brand new Pawn Takes Pawn Easter Egg is surfaced, which leads us closer to yet another reveal. Now yesterday we actually saw some creators get sent some older computers in like a whole new mysterious box and that led us to pawntakespawn.com slash waves of attack which informed us that today at 12 p.m eastern time another event would be taking place so today we're covering this new event and also the huge information we got yesterday regarding season six of modern warfare and warzone so if you enjoy the video at any point let me know by dropping a like on it and of course, if you're new to the channel, we are trying to hit 600,000 subscribers before Black Ops Cold War releases. So if you want to stay up to date with everything going on in the world of Call of Duty, uh, between news, intel, updates, all that good stuff, feel free to subscribe and maybe even hit that bell icon. Now, starting first with the Pawn Takes Pawn stuff, uh, this tape was entirely different from what we saw before leading up to multiplayer. Uh, instead of a 20 minute tape, this tape was only about 25 seconds long, and it shows off this mystery person talking about blowing up the conspiracy, and while he's talking, various codes are actually flashing on the screen. Now, these codes actually pertain to the people who got sent computers yesterday, uh, including Shauna and Drifter from Carnage, uh, Noah J got one, Dalek got one, uh, Jack Frags got one, and so did Marley. Now, for instance, when Noah put in his code, he got the message of, Thousands of red eyes are watching you with an image of Batman before he took a shower and got ready for the day. Now, long story short, after a whole lot of puzzle solving, the site pawntakespawn.com slash dustoff was found, and it has a sticky note that reads, Airborne Jump Orders. Scanner stack to reveal rendezvous point. Reserve heli count indicates pilot manual page. Heli latitude positioning and direction indicate order and jump direction. White helicopters jump twice. Yellow helicopters jump three times. Mission score indicates letter index. Now this is actually in reference to Chopper Command, which is an older Activision game. And this basically has the steps to solve another part of the puzzle by looking at various things on the screenshots that each creator got from their computer. Again, long story short, that led us to pawntakespawn.com slash bat decoder, which features an instruction manual for Chopper Command, which is needed for the steps from earlier. So, Jack Frags ended up solving the cipher here and on the dust off page. If you enter the code BONUS STAGE UNLOCKED, it'll take you to the fire and air page for Pawn Takes Pawn, which shows us the note that says, Return to the Great Underground Empire and say the incantation Auto Gyro, uh, then take another look at your surroundings. Some things will be different from what you remember. Then it talks about fire and air and explains that through Zork, we're going to find the keys and tomorrow at 12 p.m. Eastern Time, the next step is going to be unlocked. So I guess we're going to have to end up waiting until tomorrow to see where exactly this leads us, and I'll update you guys on whatever ends up happening when the time comes. Anyways, getting into the Modern Warfare and Warzone Season 6 stuff, of course, yesterday we saw the Season 6 intro cinematic release, and we talked about this a bit yesterday, but there's actually more to this that I wanted to break down, and then we also got some additional information on some Season 6 content as well. So, as we discussed yesterday, this trailer starts off by showing us the underground parts of Erdansk are going to be opening up. Uh, this is actually part of the metro stations that we've seen leaked and teased for a few weeks now, so yeah, those are finally becoming a part of the map. Then we see our first new operator for Season 6, known as Nikolai, a, uh, a familiar face if you played the campaign this year or any of the other Modern Warfare games. Then we also see a handful of soldiers flooding into this metro station, and something I want to point out here, uh, it's probably the most obvious part of this section of the trailer, there is a flashlight on this guy's weapon. Now, if you played Black Ops 4, you probably know all about the flashlights. Uh, they were super, super annoying to run into, and from this, we can't really tell if this is something that's going to just be there for the sake of the trailer, you know, it's adding that sort of cinematic effect to this, or if this is going to be an actual new attachment option on some of the weapons for Season 6. But either way, just something to think about there. Personally, I'm really hoping flashlights don't become a thing based off of my experience with them back in Black Ops 4. Now, as we continue throughout the trailer, we see these various soldiers get taken out, and then in comes Farah from the campaign. And uh, just want to point out here, she is holding the same AK-47 she uses in the campaign. Uh, it's actually called the Revolution Variant. I believe it's been in multiplayer since like Season 1, if I remember correctly. 
Uh, just a pretty neat throwback there. But yeah, Farah is going to be the second DLC operator for Season 6, and we'll talk more on both her and Nikolai here in just a moment. But as we continue here, we then see the interior of the subway area. Uh, this should be an area we're going to have access to in Season 6. Should be pretty interesting to see how many people are just going to wait down there for people to come and explore. I can pretty much already see that happening. Then as we get towards the end of the trailer here, we see the new assault rifle, the AS Val in action. Then we see an extended view of the Warzone map with these seven subway stations marked that we're going to have available. And this is actually a pretty important part of the trailer, arguably the most important part of the entire thing, because this gives us an insight into the Warzone map changes. So, as far as the Warzone map updates go, it seems as of now the big thing is going to be these subway stations, and of the seven that we have, Station A is going to be over at the airport apartments, and this is a station that we've had for a while now. Then Station B is going to be up and over by Karst River Quarry. Uh, not going to lie, I can't remember if this is a station that's already on the map, or if it's on the map now rather, or if this is going to be a brand new one added in with Season 6. But regardless, Station B is up there. Station C we know is going to be a new one as this is outside the stadium and this is actually the one that we saw teased during CDL Champs. Then Station D is going to be in downtown. Uh, this is a station that we already have on the map right now. Station E is going to be in the carnival area over at the promenade and this is also already on the map. So is Station F which is over at the train station. And finally we have Station G which is at the block area and this too is already on the map as well. And presumably we're going to be able to travel to and from these stations which is going to add in a very interesting dynamic to the Warzone map and just sort of change up the pace of the general flow of the game. Also, within this image of Verdansk, I was trying to see if anywhere else on the map maybe looked like it was a bit different, and from what I can tell, there really aren't any other changes. Uh, the stadium roof looks slightly less destroyed, I don't know if that means anything, but everywhere else looks pretty much the same. And to be honest, I really hope that isn't the case. I for one would really like to see some other major map changes occur, but for that, only time is going to tell. Now, one more thing I want to point out about this trailer before we dive into some of the other confirmations that we've got for Season 6 is the fact that at the very end, Captain Price appears to be talking to Griggs of all people, and perhaps this could be teasing Griggs coming to the game as the third DLC operator for Season 6, or maybe he's just going to be involved in some other way instead. But if you listen closely, you can hear Price address Griggs, and then Griggs takes over the comms. Actually, I'm with Nikolai. What on? Roger that. Bravo 6 to Greek. Step out of move. Copy. Say the word, Captain. Then, alongside the trailer yesterday, we also got a brand new blog post detailing Farah and Nikolai specifically, and uh, this blog post actually gave us some other pretty interesting information too. So, getting into that now, in the actual image for the blog post itself, you can see the two operators running through Verdansk, and within this, Nikolai is actually holding the AS Val, which of course we also saw in the trailer too, so that is now confirmed to be one of the two DLC weapons that we're going to see in the Battle Pass. And then we see Farah is actually holding the R700 sniper rifle, so that is now the other DLC weapon that we should see in the past too. So, this actually means that the AA-12 shotgun, which is presumably going to be the third DLC weapon for the season, is not going to be coming to the game until the mid-season update if the leaks for that are in fact accurate. Now, we also learned that both Farah and Nikolai are actually going to be available in the Season 6 Battle Pass. Uh, Farah is going to have three different outfit variants available when you go ahead and unlock hers, so after you get her, if you complete those missions, you'll get those skins for her, and she's going to be available at Tier 0 of the pass. The Nikolai is actually going to have three skins available for doing challenges as well, and he's going to be unlocked at Tier 100 of the Battle Pass. So, from this blog, we actually now know of four of the main components of the Season 6 pass, and when it releases next Tuesday, we're going to have a video up on the channel as soon as it goes live, breaking down all the tiers and everything you can earn there. So stay tuned for that. But yeah, with all of that being said, that is effectively what is now confirmed for Season 6 of Modern Warfare and Warzone, alongside the newest info that we've got for Black Ops Cold War. And that is going to wrap things up for today. If you guys enjoyed the video, let me know by dropping a like on it. And of course, if you're new here, if you want to help us reach 600,000 subscribers before Black Ops Cold War, feel free to subscribe to stay on top of all the latest Call of Duty news and intel. As always, if you want to check out any of my partners, be sure to use code IMMORTAL for a spicy discount on all Scuf, G Fuel, and Control Freak products. 
All of those links can be found down in the description below. And once again, thanks so much for tuning in. Until next time, take it easy, have an awesome rest of your day, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.